you know, there's, there's two sets of challenges we all have and one's existential and one's circumstantial. So like circumstantial things are like, uh, I'm having a bad day mm -hmm. and someone was really rude to me or mean to me or I had an argument with my mom or my dad or my boss or whatever it's like. And then existential is like, what is my purpose? What's my passion? What's the meaning of my life? Like these big questions. And, and I started to see that a lot of what I'd learned helped both those areas but people were struggling with both of those things throughout their lives. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, how do we make it accessible again? Like some of the books I read are like 5,000 years old. Yeah. And if, if you pick them up, sometimes it's not about being smart or academic. It's just, it's quite hard to just understand them overnight. And so I was always questioning myself. I read a incredible thought from Einstein, who, I, who I'm a personal huge fan of. And he said that if you can't explain something simply, you don't understand no, it well yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was my challenge. I was like, okay, I have to prove to myself that I understand this book that's 5,000 years old if I can explain it to someone who didn't get to live as a monk. And so that was my process of learning myself and growing myself and then hoping that it could make it accessible for someone else too. And I think the biggest challenges were just, and, and I think we all see in the online world, it was just, you know, trolls, criticism, like rejection, the fear of failure, like mm -hmm. people's opinions. It judging. takes a lot of courage to do to do that and to do what everyone at this table is doing. Yeah, absolutely, because you just get targeted from all these angles. And I, I wanted to see how can we use social media to create a space of compassion, non-judgment, kind of take out all of these negative opinions. Not that it can't be a place for debate and discussion. I think Definitely. those are very positive. But I didn't want it to be a place where we were just constantly, everyone's just talking over each other and no one's trying to listen. And so that was the goal. It's like, how do we first just embed that really deep value of listening, appreciating, getting to understand someone else's opinion and direction? Definitely. What's up, guys? If you liked what you saw, make sure you check out our other videos right here and also subscribe to the Herdwell channel right here for new interviews coming out every week.